Hi guys, welcome to Python tutorial. In this session, we are going to learn string literals in Python. So in this session, we are going to look at frequently used string methods, which are going to help you for the writing the Python programming language. So let us go ahead and start. I am going to explain this one using the uh, default IDE, which comes of the which comes as part of the Python. So first, we are going to declare or define the string. So how we can define the string is let us consider user input equal to this is string demo so as I explain we can define strings in uh, two ways one is you can put in the uh, double quotes that means string you can represent using the uh, double quotes or let us print this uh, string user input and second way is user input equal to single quotes. This is string demo. Sorry, it is a single quote. User input equal to single quote we need to mention. This is string demo and then print user input okay so this is these are the two ways you can define the string so if you want to define a uh, multi level multi line string then uh, we can define using the uh, triple uh, codes actually so how we can define is user input equal to triple single quotes and then you can specify this is string definition for multi line and close single triple quotes now if I paint print user input okay so you are going to um, it is going to print the multi line of the string and similarly you can define using the triple uh, double quotes that means user input equal to triple double quotes and this is string demo using multi triple quotes and you can close triple triple or uh, double quotes and again you can print this value user input okay so these are the four different ways you, you can define a string in uh, python so in python string is a sequence of characters now let us consider i am going to define or i am going to assign user input equal to this is string demo okay so as we discussed so string is a sequence of characters now if i if i want to get the character at the particular uh, uh, particular index then we can pass the index so index is going to start from the 0 till length minus 1 so let us consider in this case I want to get the user input at the location of 1 I want to print that character then pass the index 1 you can see h so this value it is going to retry and similarly um, user input of 10 then at this point uh, at this index whatever the value it is going to have it is going to return so uh, strings are uh, strings are nothing but sequence of the characters which which are having the continuous memory locations now if you want to find the length of the string then we have the predefined method called as a length and you can pass the string object so user input
okay so we will get length of the string is 19 and now let us consider you want to convert this string into uppercase then user input dot upper then it is going to convert the string into the uppercase now let us consider you want to convert this one into the lowercase then user input dot lower this is the convert to convert the string into the lowercase now let us consider you want to uh, starting of the string should be in the capital letter then you can use the method called as a input dot capitalize okay so capitalize if you use this method then starting letter of the um, string it will be in the uppercase okay now for example if you want each word of the uh, each first uh, each word of the first character should be in the uppercase then you can use the method user input dot title okay so by using this every word of the first letter will be convert uh, will be um, convert to the uppercase okay so now for example if you want to check whether this particular string is alpha um, it contains only the alpha that means basically alphabets or not then we have the method called as user input dot is alpha so it is going to look for this this string at least contains one alphabetical uh, at least one character should be there or uh, and also it should be a uh, all the uh, characters should be alphabets then in this case it is going to return false now for example if i remove the space user input equal to testing and now i am going to use input dot is alpha now this time it is going to return me true now for example if you want to check whether the particular string contains digits or not then user input dot is digit then it will look for whether that particular string uh, string must have the digits only otherwise it is going to return false for example if i go update uh, if i assign the value of 1 2 3 4 5 and again if i look for the method whether it is is digit or not then it is going to return me true okay and uh, similarly now if you want to get the substring of it in python we don't have the method for the substring but you can get based on the uh, what you can call as a range how you can get is for example user input i want to get the from the first position to fourth position then you have to pass this way this is called as a range then it will going to it is going to print this it is going to get you the substring from the first position to fourth minus one that means third so in this case what happens is second third fourth it has printed so this is how you will get the substring okay now another method is for example if you are um, whatever the input you are going to provide you want to check whether it is in the lower case or upper case then we have the predefined methods for that also for example user input equal to i am right uh, i am assigning all the uh, string with the lower case now i can check where user input dot is is lower okay so this method is going to check whether whatever the character um, in this particular string are in the lower case or not for example if i update this one to user input equal to testing and then again if i look for the is lower then is this time it is going to written false 
and similarly if you want to check for the upper let it it should contain only upper letters then user input dot is upper so what this method is going to do is it will check whether the all the characters in this particular string is in upper case or not if all are in upper case then it is going to return true otherwise it is going to return false now let us go ahead and run it this time it is going to return as false but if you assign user input equal to testing if i put all the characters in the upper case and again if i look for the dot is upper then this time it is going to return true so these are the few methods which are going to help you to check whether the particular uh, case is true or not and similarly for example if you have any um, if you want to find out particular string is available in the given string or not for example user input equal to this is testing purpose now i want to search whether that particular is is available as part of this uh, string or not then we have a method for that user input dot find okay and then you can pass this whatever the value you want to um, check right you can pass it that is is okay now if you see here it is going to return which position it has um it has uh, available basically it is able to identify the index of that particular substring what we are looking here and similarly we have one more method that is user input dot we have something called as a index okay so this method is also takes the same argument like a substring and it is going to return as the index but the only problem here is that if whenever you are searching for the particular string and if it is not available as part of this uh, user input then index method is going to throw the exception for example user input dot index of i want to search for the hello for example here hello is not part of the uh, say, uh, not hello is the word which is not part of the user input hence what happens is this time it is going to throw the exception saying like value error uh, value error substring not found okay so this is how you can uh, find uh, you can find whether the particular um, substring is is available as part of the user input string or not okay so these are the uh, couple of methods which are we are going to frequently used and in the next session i am going to cover few more methods so thanks for watching have a nice day